Okay, guys, hey, e Red RC back again with the timber, twin timber, uh, 1.6 meter. Um, we're going to get to installing the landing gear. So the manual says we're going to use two Phillips head 2.5 by 8 millimeter screws to do this. I'm going to guess that these are going to be these here because there are four of these in the bag. So I measure these with my calipers. They say 2.5. I'm getting more like 2.3, but these aren't the best calipers. And I'm getting like, so actually these say with a head, more like 11. But I'm going to guess that these are the proper ones because they're, uh, they said there are four of these. But there's only a few of the other ones, so that looks like I screws in there. So uh, I'm gonna put one side on, line it up, and see. down properly and it looks like they are I don't think they say anything about Loctite but guys anytime I do aluminum to aluminum I always put some Loctite on it so I'm gonna put my little thing out here that's got my Loctite in it we use a little blue Loctite screws and I'll just put one in without it but I can pull it right back out so I'm just gonna put a little lock tight on here and stick it down in here and screw it in Take this one back out. I kind of want to just get that one in place, guys. Make sure this was the right screw, even though I screwed it down well. I wish they would label their bags. It'd be so easy to put, you know, use bag A here. And, uh, but I have only seen that on one plane for me flight. And uh, I'm not quite sure why they did it on that one specific airplane for, and nobody else's plane, but okay. So that's one side done. Now I got to hook up my stringy. Um, probably do go ahead and do that last. I think. Go ahead and get my other screw. Get my Loctite, put a little dab of Loctite on it, get this little piece lined up, get the landing gear in place, get it lined it up here in the hole, get it started. <coughs> Guys, these landing gear springs, I can already tell they're a whole lot bigger and heavier duty than the original timbers were. I myself never had trouble with the landing gear, honestly. The only problem I ever had with them uh, on a really windy day when I would land and you get a crosswind blow badly, they would actually fold inwards. And then that would cause you not to be able to attach it back to your pits. You'd have to go out on the runway and grab their airplane, but wasn't that big of a deal. As soon as you picked it up, they sprung right back to where they belonged. Okay, that one's snug. And snug the other one all the way down. Then you got this little baggie here with your little collar in it for your springs. So 
you grab a grab a screw and grab a collar. These are new and they look very nice. Nice that they decided to do this. Now you do not want to use Loctite on these. These are going directly into plastic. And if you put Loctite on here, the plastic will get eight by the Loctite. So never, never ever use Loctite on plastic. Make sure this is going in the hole straight. I think I could have grabbed a little bit bigger of a screwdriver for these, but it's going to work out okay. Okay, so that's one. We'll do the other side. Make sure these are facing down into the screen. the screw nice and straight before you start it. Keep it straight as you're going. Whew, them landing gear are strong guys. Okay, so there's the landing gear. Next, we'll do the tail. So we'll get a little, uh, let's see if we can see it here. Take your tail rod. You can either stick it in one side of your stab, an elevator, or you can stick it in the flame, but you have a hole here. You wanna stick it in there. Make sure you have the correct side, which you want to line up your elevator. Control horn is going to be on your right hand side of your airplane. So that's how you know you have it correct. Just slide that guy right on in. And now it's got some weight on it, so it's going to fall with me. Um, hopefully you can still see it. Take your other half. Do the same thing, slide it around the slot. Hold the right side while you do it so you don't know nowhere. Make sure these are lined up here. It's your uh, elevator joiner. And then, okay, I guess I can set you uh, back down on the table now. Sorry, guys. So, once you do that, you... Uh, Look at your manual to see what screw you're supposed to use. There's a 2.5 by 12. So I'm going to guess that these guys here, again, there's only two, and you have two for this step. So, and the other ones I have are way too short. But you can kind of check with your calipers. Looks like the threaded part here is about, well, overall is about 13, so I'm going to say, yeah, these are 12. You just have a hole here, so I'm going to line them up on either side, and then tighten these down. Make sure they're nice and snug, but not too, too tight. You are just screwing right into some plastic. Snug them up nice. That went in there real nice. I have had these where they want out like they're binding up with something and they just don't want to go all the way in. But these feel really nice. Okay guys, that's that. I got the tail on. So Telling you to hook up the linkage. I don't know if you're going to be able to see me do that, but me being me, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick this in the very inner hole. And it's got these little crick connectors on here. 
these little guys. Guess you can see that. You just got these little guys here. They just they poke into the plane, into the control horn, and then they uh, lock. So there's a little piece. That's probably okay, guys. I'm back. I paused and strained up a little bit and got my wing here. And uh, <clears throat> gonna put the prep adapters on real quick. So I got the tail all hooked on, got the landing gear on. The red anodized prop adapter must be installed on the left motor. So that would be this here. This is the left. So I said red. So get your red bag out. Got a prop adapter. You got a spinner. You got a uh, nut. You have four, I'm guessing, uh, screws. And then your spinner screw also. So you want to make sure you line this guy up here with your motor. And uh, you want to line up with your holes. Grab your, the wrench that's going to fit this. Not knowing what size it is, because I didn't pay attention in the manual. I'm going to say it's probably a one and a half or a two. Get your wrench out, your Allen head wrench. Not a one and a half, it must be a two. Get your two millimeter driver out. And get your little Loctite. Get your little dab of Loctite on here. Remember we are going for aluminum, aluminum here. So it's always a good idea to use the Loctite. Screw it in there. I'm thinking it moved on me. It doesn't feel like it's going in, so. Yeah, get you. Make sure you get them lined up now. Get your motor. And then you still gotta screw it right on in. So there's one. Too snug, grab you another screw and repeat. You don't have to use a ton of lock tight guys, just enough that uh, you can get some grip on it. The tricky part is holding this while you're screwing these in tight. You're going to want to get something to be able to hold this by. Haven't quite came up with what's going to be the best thing to do that with. Uh, maybe some ball link pliers, if you have them, or maybe a pair of regular pliers. Just something to, uh, actually, you know what, I'm thinking my ball link pliers to go in the hole of two of these, and then I'll be able to Sort of whole pressure and tighten them up. And then you can just turn it halfway and then I'll stick them in the other two holes. And then tighten them up. Yeah, I got 
has it actually works out pretty good. Put a little pressure against it. Don't have to be super, super, super tight, guys. But it's just aluminum. So that's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see that. And you got one of them on. And then you're going to want to make sure when you go to do your props that you do the correct one. But guys, safety first. I think I'm going to leave my props off for right now. I do plan to fool with some programming on the plane itself. I'm going to stick my screw for my spinner right on in here. I'm going to stick it back in the bag, and I'm going to do the other wing real quick. So you do the exact same thing with it. Um, I'm not sure if the spinners would be any different. I don't see why they would be. So you shouldn't really have to worry about getting them mixed up, crushed up, or anything. Again, I'm not going to put the props on yet because I'm going to do some switching around on my uh, my radio setup first. So, um, when I do get to that setup, I might come back to it. But uh, for now, that's it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something helpful out of it. And we'll catch you in the next one.